Family Farm. I'm Christy. It's Bubbles. <laughs> Who are you? A pop PM. Okay, what is your name? Who are you? Bubbles. I'm Bubbles. Yeah. Okay, so today is Bubbles. All right, in the chapel, what do you got for us, then? But those who... Isaiah. 4031. No. But those who hope in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Okay, so, and the reason that we're doing Pope is today is Advent. It's a candle of hope that you light on your Advent wreath, correct? <laughs> so, we have candle of hope. Um, just so you know, we always did youngest child was candle of hope. Oldest child was the next candle. And then, which is candle of preparation. <laughs> And then I was candle of joy, and the father was candle of love. So, right now, there's only me doing it, so pretty much I light them all. <laughs> so, Be okay. Be quiet, you little pusher. Your Christmassy pusher. I know, he's got his little Christmas collar. He's stretched it out already. It is what I know. <laughs> it's this big for a dog who's got a head this big. Yeah, yeah. But he wears it. All right. I think the other dog's stretched on it some, too. Oh, it has well on everything. Yep. Come back. Oh, he ran away. He didn't want to wear it anymore, Mom. Okay. All right, in the barn stalls, that's your department. And what do we got going on in the barn stalls this week? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. It's cold. Mm hmm. Mm. But Ace Kef is doing good, yeah. right? Oh, I know. We got barn stalls. Quit. Yep. All the boys are back in the pen. The boys are back in town. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, the boys it are should back be in the town. boys are back in town when they're released with the girls, isn't it? Well, they left. They went out of town. <laughs> they're out of town now. Yeah. Because now they're all gathered up and in one <laughs> stall, so everything is back out on the pasture, right? Mm -hmm. And Leighton, Holly, and Al and uh, Sweetie are all up to their little antics again. They're Jumping fences and all that good stuff, so we're gonna have to fix that. Correct. Yep. We're gonna whack them off the knees and call them stubby. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we it's a funny movie. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to um, probably tie Layton in. Now, we do have one pin that we have not turned loose, and which pin is that? The three little ones over here. They're because. Stay, they're to be fed good. The one that was sick has a fiber break, so she's um, ruining or shedding or it's breaking off. Um, so we'll have to watch her and make sure she doesn't get cold. It's actually started to grow. She's got a little fuzz, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. So hopefully as it falls off, it'll do. So she got really sick, um, and that causes a fiber break, and it is what it is. Uh, it's just like people. with their fingernails whenever they get real sick. <laughs> yeah. Get them. Get them. Hush now. Don't encourage him. We'll never get through this podcast. Quit shaking the camera. Oh, okay. Anyway, alright. So, we're playing with the advent wreath. In the barn stalls. But, come on, let's get through this. It's already starting to lag. I can see it. And now you're shaking the camera again. It's still shaking. I'm not even touching it. It's <laughs> because you keep touching the table. So okay, so uh, mending fences. Um, my truck is in the shop. Mm -hmm. That's what's being repaired. Uh, the borrowed truck is repaired. Mm -hmm. Your truck is still dead in the pasture. Yep. Oh, in the barn stalls, what happened with the two zebus? They were rehomed. Yep. Yay! Got that done. Um, if you follow us on Facebook, you know that there's been an issue with that, and we'll get to that mm -hmm. in um, in the farmhouse. Because there was a lot going on in the farmhouse, correct? Uh, yeah. So just know that the trucks are in the works. We're still down truckless, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so what's up next? Get your gum in your mouth. Uh, mending fences in the yarn farm. We are getting ready. He's going to bring in the tumbler. We've got one month to get ready for Mago, correct? I've got fiber washed. i got to get it made into bats and dyed. I'm going to dye it first and then make it into bats. But I'm thinking I'm actually just make plain bats instead of dyeing it all up. Don't know. So, um, there's that, right? Have you had any visits this week? It's been cold. So, it's cold in the end. It's really just not visit weather. 
but you did have one visit, right? Yeah, a while back. A week or two away. A week or so. So. I don't remember if um, I talked about it on the podcast, but. Nope. But you did have a, a visit every once in a while. Um, then, let's see, what goes after in the yarn farm? In the fields. The I still haven't even gotten down to the garden. The we're goats have been in the garden, haven't they? Yeah, we're on the porch now. No, we're not. Uh-huh. On the porch is done. You haven't done in the farmhouse. You haven't done... Will you knock it off? Okay. <sighs> Look at me. Okay. You did a sorry impression of me. It's supposed to be like... <laughs> you look like an ape. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Pouty Face. All right, so in the fields, I haven't gotten out there to um, even check the gourds, but the goats have been getting in the um, garden on and off today, right? Yesterday and today, or just today? When did you turn them loose, yesterday or today? Today. Huh? Yesterday. So they've been getting in and out yesterday and today. All right, anything else in the fields? Mm-hmm. What? It's cold. That's not in the fields. In the farmhouse. Here. Okay, in the farmhouse. It's nice and warm in here, guys. Okay. So We've start with right after we podcast. What happened? Why were we out and about and what was going on? I found a bit on Facebook I wanted. Okay. That's so he had a, it's a bit for a horse. Yep. And he needed to go and pick up. This lady was um, holding it for him. And then there were some other things, and he needed to go pick up this tack. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he was going to get in the little car mm-hmm. and drive over. But it flurried for, like, all of, what, five minutes? Probably. <laughs> and there's a dam that you have to go across to get to Claremore where he was going to pick it up. And I didn't really want to go. So I was like, hem I was like, you know what, I'll just take you. It's flurrying. There's the wind of the dam. I'll just take you in the big truck. That way, if this keeps up and the weather gets worse, we'll get there, get back, and we'll be safe. So, we turn to go on the road, which is 88, Highway 88. I didn't know that. I just know it's the road that leads to Claremore across the dam. Okay. So, I'm dying to find you know I am. <laughs> it's stuck to his nose, too. Um, so... I was, <laughs> let me poke it. <laughs> Let's go, go all over your face. <laughs> it's going to go all over your face. Get it in camera. They can't see how big it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so, yep, there's bubbles. You guys. <laughs> No, I was going back in my mouth. All right. <laughs> kid, there's some right down here, kid. No, right there. There you go. And there's some on your mustache under your nose, too. Okay, so. That didn't go as planned. That okay. was a big bubble. <laughs> that was. Um, I can't believe. You know how many breasts it took to blow that thing? I know, I was wanting to poke it. I was like. Okay, back on track. Come on. <laughs> All right, bubbles. Come on. Um. We crossed, uh, we were on 169, we headed west, right? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, east, to Claremore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right before we entered the actual dam, there's a road leading up to it, you know, and then it does this thing. RJ and I were talking, not only did we need to watch for deer, but there is a gust of wind that whips around the dam, and I'd never driven that truck before across there, so... We knew we had to be careful. I slowed down. Um, he actually made a smart aleck remark, and we were laughing. And then all of a sudden, he yells deer, and there's a deer in front of us. He didn't pop up there. He ran <laughs> no, he just popped up there. He was bouncing, and it went from this side out of my view to right there for me. Okay, now he followed him. I was driving, so I was trying just to watch the road. And kind of scan and we had been talking about that that he was gonna have to help me watch for deer and then he said something stupid I don't even remember what you said 
but we were laughing and then boom there was a deer i had both feet on the brake how much love rubber juice i left he burned <laughs> i burned rubber <laughs> slammed on the brakes um there was fluid left on the roadway um from what i've learned about a Stomped diesel on the brake so hard no but all the brake lines just no i didn't um there is a second coolant for the transmission fluid um in a diesel and it sits in front of the radiator so the radiator's here and it's right here and then there's the grill and the cattle guard the deer was so big that it broke his head and back were above the cattle guard and so it slammed over the cattle guard it pushed the cattle guard from the top down it popped my bumper out busting all kinds of stuff in there right not really all kinds of stuff but um some covers not four thousand dollars for the damage five thousand four no well we don't know because there was another part so forty five hundred dollars worth of damage at least mm -hmm. okay um i think it was like 30 42 but they had to redo that that one part or something anyway um so I called 911. The highway patrol refused to come out, and he said no insurance has ever asked for um, a police report over an uh, animal impact or a deer. Let's put it that way. And he said that he couldn't be held the deer couldn't be held accountable if he wasn't coming out. The sheriff's department was there, and so they done better. It. It's a little town. It, it is a little town, but they heard it on the radio, and they then want to the, see the, deer. the fire department was there. And what did they all decide, son? If that the highway patrol sh was going to come to one, it should have come to mine. Number one, there was liquid. There was fluids left on the roadway. It was sub-zero weather, um, meaning that those liquids froze, creating a slick spot, and they had to be chemically treated. You can't just water them down and go on. So that makes black eyes just that white eyes. Yes. So the sheriff's guy, when I was talking with the highway patrol on the phone because he wouldn't come out um the i overheard the sheriff's department saying that if the highway patrol came to any one of the accidents that happened that night he should have come to ours then the fire department guys um Terminal the deer is about 100 years old the deer he went 100 20. he, he was, was huge and he was old and um blind in one eye blind in one eye they said that he would have field dressed out at over 150 pounds and that he probably weighed 235. Now, that is a big deer for Oklahoma, okay? They said in his prime he had, and when we hit him, when his head slammed into the hood and then shattered to the ground, it shattered his uh, antlers. Mm -hmm. And one. so, yeah, but the spikes were... Oh, they won't even fit the camera unless I... They were long. They were probably two foot tall, you think? Mm -hmm. And that was just the one spike that was left, and all the little things that come off of them were splintered and shattered. They said that was probably because of his age, but they said judging by the base, his antlers at the base were about that big around, him, and they said that they were huge, and that meant he was old. Um... <coughs> There was jokes made about how he probably was committing suicide, correct? RJ told... <laughs> Will you stop? RJ has been... It's still on your nose. Oh, yeah. like to... What did you say about the wreck? Hunt of a lifetime. Yep. He said, I went on a hunt of a lifetime and mom smoked the deer with her truck. Um, I look, my nose is like shiny. It's gum. Look, it's peeling. I sunburnt my nose. In the <laughs> it's still on there. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so... How do I get this off? A shower? Does that it's, mean I need soap? It's over here. <laughs> you quit blowing the boat. There's a towel right over there, dude. Um. I have a perfectly good shirt. Anyway, please. so... A couple of friends... Um, my son, boss, whatever, a couple of the guys at the shop that work for the guy that I work for, um, have decided they're going to make my truck into a tank, correct? 
quit. Yeah. I got it's it not big crimping in. I got all my, I got all the stuff. Well, you took your little mirror, so I can't like look. And... It's for my contacts. I haven't taken my contacts out today. Um. Anyway, they got together and they've decided that they're going to make my truck into a tank. RJ, you want to explain what that means? Okay. Because the cattle guard and the bumper were pushed. If it normally sits like this, it was pushed back over the hood, and it popped the whole bumper out. It's going to all have to be redone. So we got this new bumper. What is what's so big deal about this new bumper? It's got like mom's old one had the bumper, and then the cattle guard put over it. This the new bumper one, was half plastic, half metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a real cheap bumper. It's just new, a regular car bumper. Yeah, this new one. It's going to be all steel. And then it's going to have the cattle guard built on top of the bumper. So, so one piece. One piece. All solid steel. All solid steel. All powder coated. All welded together. And it's going to fold up steel. and protect the front of my truck. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the one thing? I, I do have, I know that these guys are, RJ is super excited about the new bumper. My boss just sees an opportunity to um, beef up a, um, what? Don't screw that up. Um, to beef up a truck and put his two cents in and I have one gentleman that is at the body shop That loves me to death and he has taken on the insurance. He's taking care of me. He's, he's got, a good guy He yeah. is and he's got my best interest in putting a safe vehicle on the road for me So what did he say about the bumper? He said it's great No problems Ex at all. No because if you hit a semi, he you're said, in deep anyway. It's not going to help much. He said that the only thing he doesn't like about them is if you're in a head-on with something bigger than you, it's going to push the whole motor up into your lap. And he says, but honestly, if you're in that bad of an accident, it's not going to really matter. <laughs> you're, you know, he said it's going to, when it has a semi or whatever, but he says for cattle, being around the farm, the deer, um, even smaller cars, you know, being in a reckless smaller car, it's fine. Um, but he says taking on, if I was in a serious wreck with a semi or whatever, he said it's going to push the motor back in me. So he says, but a wreck like that is, is bad anyway. So he said lesser of two evils. Yes, it protects me from two or three things, but if a really bad wreck happens, it could work against me. Um, making a list of the pros and cons, there's more pros to them than cons. So, um, Chris, my body man, has um, definitely considered my safety above anybody else, okay? Um, everybody else in my life just wants to spoof up my truck. Um, I did ask if it came in pink, and I was told no. They just cut powder coat in black. <laughs> I said, great. Um, then... I had to fight with the insurance, and once Chris got the truck, um, before it was being held at the wrecker service, and I had to fight with the insurance because they wanted a one-stop shop. We live in a small town. There is no one-stop shop. The wrecker service is not the body shop, and the body shop is not the mechanic. Um, so, my boss, that I clean his house and take care of his, his mom, um, he is shop oh, wow. Oh, wow. is a, my diesel mechanic so he and his mechanic and his son and everybody just went to see my truck they made a field trip out of it oh, oh, but they went oh. down to see if it was salvageable he signed off and said yeah he thought so but he didn't know until they actually got it ripped apart then the body shop guy took on the insurance and everybody else was saying you know you have to do this and that and something I didn't know else what flavor these were but they look promising it's red strawberry looks promising um so anyway uh the insurance didn't want to pay to have it towed from place to place mm -hmm. uh if i have to have anything done with the mechanic thing we'll get it from place to place correct mm -hmm. or they'll send the mechanic to it <laughs> i'm pretty sure <laughs> so anyway it kind of helps being in a small town because people do look out for you it's um, not strawberry. Cherry? No. I'm not eating it. Did it say on the package? No. Did you read? Uh-huh. Toasted pastries. It really doesn't say. They're just a silver package and it's pop tarts. And... Mm -hmm. Okay, if you buy the cheap kind, it says what they are on the outside of the package. Um. 
Anyway, so the wreck happened. My truck is at still at the auto body shop. Chris, my auto body man, had to have um, the adjuster come back out because there were some things that he messed up. Apparently, the coolant little mini radiator for the transmission uh, is... I got in trouble for calling it a little mini radiator, and I was corrected by my boss, and he says, it's a transmission coolant. And I said, whatever. I said, it's a thingy. And uh, anyway... That comes in two different sizes on that model and that makeup truck. And if one is a 6.6 .6 and one's an 8.8, .8, I guess mine has the least common one that was used on it. And so there's a difference of about $400 in price to buy one of those. Anyway, so that happened. Then I've been using the old truck to go to and from work. It's leaking oil, which you got to check so I can go to work tomorrow. Okay, I'll check it. Um, anyway, but... They never gave it to me. Huh? Do what? Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll check it. He really will. Um, then RJ borrowed a truck because he had a job to finish on Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, we need to rehome the Zeus. All this was set up, um, a long time ago. It's not like we could move anything. So Thursday he goes to take care of the job that he was hired to do. He got two horses. Who, he had to go gather a cow. He got the cow caught. Got it put back in the pasture. It's supposed to be put back in. He had two horses on. Um, he was headed home. And one of these little excavator cat things got on the highway and went like 100 feet down the road and got onto this other side road right in front of him. And you had to downshift yep. and slam on the brakes. What happened to the truck? I popped the the drive shaft off of the axle. The sudden jolt. jolt. It's a four wheel drive. So it, it and it was only in two wheel drive, which is kind of a good thing, isn't it? Well, yeah. When I, because <laughs> it's a standard, so it, when you proof it goes wrong. When he says standard, he says it's a manual. Manual and automatic. It's a manual. Yeah. So he could shift. So he downshifted and then hit the brakes. Okay, so how'd you get it home? I took and I tied up. We don't the... recommend this to anyone. No, we don't. <laughs> but with my truck out of commission, maybe normally. Maybe your worst enemy. It, it's a time killer. I mean, maybe. Normally, I would have gone over. He would have parked the truck on the side of the road. I would have picked up the trailer with the horses, brought them home, dropped off the horses, kicked out that trailer, gone and gotten my brother-in-law's flatbed trailer, gone over, loaded that truck on a trailer, and brought it home. Now, I don't have my truck. I get a deer. So, what did you have to do, son? I took and I tied up the drive shaft so it wouldn't drag. With a rope. Yeah, with a rope. Because I didn't have a chain. We. Yeah, for a wire didn't last. My mom brought me one in. Yeah. So and keep telling the story. Well, uh, we tied we'll it up. Part. Tied it up, and I put the truck in four wheel drive. And I. Uh, what did that allow the truck to do? That allowed the transmission to send the power to the front two tires. And the back two tires. Right. It, and it's in two wheel drive. Right. It's it rear wheel, wheel drive. drive. Right. So the rear tires are pushing mm -hmm. it. When it's in four-wheel drive, yeah, all four tires, all four are tires are doing it, and the front help pull it along. Right. So now I've got it. Basically, I got it four-wheel drive, but it, the two tires are the only ones doing anything because the back drive shaft's just spinning. It's and not, all the weight is in the back. Right. So you can't go fast. Well, I could have if I could have got the drive shaft off where it wasn't sitting there beating everything underneath because it's still sitting there spinning. It's just sitting there spinning underneath, but the only difference is it's loose. So now instead of it just sitting there twirling in a little circle, it's going. Okay, all over. enough. So when you get to going fast, it got it to be beat. beating things around. So I drove slow and. And then I brought him home the back way. I met him out on what's called Bell Road. It, it's a cutoff. And then um, we bailing wired it up. And we... Which ended up breaking. What the wire did idea? end up breaking. The rope worked better. But we thought the rope would get hot. Did we not? Yeah. 
And well, metal on broke, metal friction is harder than metal on nylon friction, so. We got it home, and you spent all day Friday? Yeah, I put it back together. Get, well, it got a little more complicated than that. He went and got the parts. Got and part then of the parts. He got part of the parts. And then and I couldn't then, get one part. That's where it got complicated. Yeah. A screw had broke off in there, so it had to be re-drilled. A bolt. A bolt. bolt, screw, same thing. So drilled the hole out. So they had to re-drill the hole, and then put it all back together. Mm -hmm. And you finished up right as the storms came in, correct? Mm -hmm. And we're talking... We're talking... That was our admin do it. Count candle, and it was... Real. I could put this sucker out, man. <laughs> Watch your mouth. I got it. Um, anyway... So, you got it all done. Yep. Just as the storms came in. And the storms were not just thunder, lightning, and all that. We had hail. We had winds. We had a tornado warning. A tornado watch. It, it's the 1st of December, and we are under tornado warning. We so, had a nader, folks. We got did. us a big old nader. <laughs> right in nader alley. Um, Tori and I were going to look at it when we went down through there and see if we could see where the tornado went through, but I, I, we were chat, chatting and didn't pay attention, so. Anyway, hey, but we did I have did. a tornado. But, just FYI, I don't believe it. I slept right through it all. You did. Just fine. I was up for the hail and all that stuff and watched the radar. It moved real, through really fast, just like a spring storm, but. I got done with the truck. I was tired. I went to bed. <laughs> and I was out. <laughs> so. And we learned one thing. What? I will starve to death before I become a full-time mechanic. But he will fix something before he starves. <laughs> For himself. <laughs> okay, so. This Saturday you took... Just FYI, I'll be able to drive to town to get food. I'll be able to afford anything in town, but I'll be able to drive to town to get food. Um, so then he got the Z-Boost delivered the mm -hmm. next day, correct? Mm -hmm. And I went to Fiss Do you want to show him what I got in two things? Thank you. Because your wife can't stand up. They're actually in the camera up. right now. Okay, just stand up and get They're in the camera, look. Okay, but they don't know what they are. Okay. Alright. So, one of the first... Uh-oh, it's stuttering. What'd you do to it? Ah. See him messing around and he's messing up my... Thing here. Is it back on yet? Yeah, it is. See, look, I'm moving it. Boom. Okay, stop. Let it focus. But it's still not up. Why is it not? Anyway, okay, we're going to keep going while I fiddle with this and get it. What is that, son? It's a smoky Santa Claus. He smokes. It's a Schmuckermann. 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 And I got him a Chris Kling gemacht. Oops, sorry. I hit a button. I know. Um. Okay, and he burns incense, correct? Yes, he does. We're having technical difficulties, Wait. folks. I'm hoping that it... Mom's trying this new program, folks, and it is a bug. Oh, figured it out. <laughs> figured out what the problem was. No, you knocked you it off. You unplugged it. No, not me. Okay. I didn't do it. Not when my fault. When you pulled it, it knocked it. Okay, let's see. We have power, guys. <laughs> We're on battery, and when it's on battery, it really lags. So, um, okay, so this is Santa Claus Schmokemon, and you put an incense in there. Yeah, you I just knocked, knocked it. it off. It's just ash. It's not going to hurt us. So, and you these light his are, butt on fire and he starts smoking. Um, these are traditional garments. So, you put your um, cone incense in here, and there's um, a traditional, I, I don't remember what flavor it is, but I like the traditional. You put them up here, and the hole right here it's in his smoke. mouth is where the smoke of the incense comes out. These are traditionally German, and I like my Santa. Um, people don't have lots of these around, they just have one. It's not anything that people collect. Most households just have one. Um, some people will have more than one. Alright, and then I got my single tier Advent. You have a triple thing. tier. I do, but that was my grandmother's. Mm. And my triple tier, can you, you can't move that one down. Here. It's a nativity. Can you take it out a little bit? Okay, so there's RJ. And that was my grandmother's. And it's a nativity. And it's got the candles. But I can't get the right size candles for it. So I can't burn it. Um, then this one. Okay, come back down here, dude. Oh. This one I got because it was um, broke. 
and so I got a really good deal on it. And being me, I fixed it. Um, so there's actually um, two more fins that uh, are blades. They sent the wrong, these are the wrong blades that go with it, but it works, so I'm not going to gripe. And then one of the little ornaments down here, um, this little guy right, hey, back up, right here, was down there and glued in the wrong spot, so where the bell was. So I moved the bell forward, or took him off, moved him up there, and moved the bell forward, and that is absolutely perfect. So, um, when you light candles, the heat makes this turn. Um, they are traditional... German um, Christmas, uh, what do you call them? Mm -hmm. Decorations. So, quit. Don't do it so fast. Set it back up there, please. Go, go, go. So, I am tickled with, because I was going to get a single tier and then I was going to get my um, Schmuckemann, but I got both the shoes. So, I am tickled with them. Here you go. Um, I have a small um, Schmuckemann, um, it's Hansel and Gretel, uh, and oh, it's got a little mini cone, yeah, we're getting stuff on it, it's got fuzzies or something, okay, put it back up there, but anyway, uh, I know, but anyway, so and that so is I my, light them on fire. I wouldn't have them. then I got my, um, Cookies and candies for St. Nicholas Day. Crackers. Does anybody know what flavor pop tart this is? It's like a red. What it's, red? it's gotta be cherry or strawberry. It's the only two they make. So if it's not strawberry, it's cherry. Well, somebody, please, it's for my cherry. sake, comment on there and say there's more than just cherry and strawberry that are red. Just please. Like maybe a raspberry or a brasberry or a frasberry. Or a pomegranate. I mean, I don't care. Pomegranate's all Anyway, right. so we've done that. We're getting ready for six. St. Nicholas Day, um, come this Thursday, correct? Have you been a good little boy, or, or are you going to get switches and pull? No, bro. The jury's still out. Mm-hmm. Where I'm from in the Eiffel, uh, it's the Schwachsamann. Um, there is a... <sighs> There's one of these evil little dudes? It, it goes by region. Um, Schwachsa Mountain is where he's supposedly from. So it's in the Eiffel, and each region has their what they call him. So, um, like I said, where we're from, Schwachsamann. I don't know the different names for him, but pretty much he's the bad little girls and boys get to see the Schwachsamann, and he gives them switches and coal. The good little girls and boys get to see Saint Nicholas, and he gives them candy, cookies, fruit, and small gifts. At least won't be cold at Christmas. And you can just light up your coal and be good. <laughs> nice coal. Actually, when I was a kid, because no kid is perfect, um, we used to get at least one switch and a piece of coal. Well, there's three of us kids, so we had two switches for arms and three pieces of coal for the eyes and the nose of our snowman. Just saying, that's how we did it. Uh, I don't know that the Schwachsmann would be happy about that, but it is what it is, man. <laughs> I'm going to build a fire. It'd be nice to toast you more. <laughs> but this year I did do um, St. Nicholas Day for all the kids here. I did RJ, my daughter, and my son-in-law. Mm -hmm. So I've got my three kids. Got them done. And then I did um, some for at work, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm bringing German influence to the trucking industry. Hey, Mom. Yeah, right. Here in a second. Will I'm going to get stop? it to lag. So I'm going to keep moving, even though I'm not moving, okay? No, stop it. All right, Sheila. It's still it's moving. Stop. I'm not moving. The camera is not. I'm I still That's think your I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still moving. <laughs> That's you. Anyway, oh. so um, we're getting ready for that. We've got Advent going on. Why um, did I do that? I'm still moving. <laughs> We've got RJ Dizzy. Uh oh, I'm, Bubbles Dizzy. Sorry. I'm still moving, Mommy. Help me. All right, so. Help me. We are going to be working on stuff for the Fiber Festival, so we really won't have anything on the porch, correct? Come on. We have come this hot thing. It's 35 minutes. These people are going to get bored. Let's it's go. It's going to take me about an hour to come back to planet Earth. <laughs> you have to go get me my pine cones, too. Just so, show me. Get that thing that I just made. No. 
Matt. Oh, we got this thing right here. No, See, look. come on, get that. You didn't even show him what I handed you. The dog collar. Everybody saw it earlier when you said it was stretched out. Oh, okay. Oh, Quiet. you got Holy Christmas. Quiet. Oh, okay, so my daughter and I saw these things in, like, Dollar General or Dollar I wonder where you got whatever. the cling with them. So I went and made them, and it has to have, it, these are just tied on. I had the bells and the bows from other projects, and I tied it on with Got this. all the bells and whistles. And then um, the other one had some pine cones tied on it. I have some pine cones upstairs in the attic, and I'm going to tie it, and it's going to be a door hanger. Isn't that pretty? That's what pine cones for. Yes. I need two pine cones. You know how big a door it's got to be to hang on that? Yes, I do. And I know exactly where it's going. So, it's going to bring holiday cheer to a Grinch. <laughs> but it, it, here's my point. It didn't cost me anything, and it's really cute. So, these little bows you can get anywhere if you have any around. It doesn't have to be bells. These are fake bells, but hey. But they are anyway, not. Look. They make noise. Yeah, but they're plastic. They're not metal. So They are? Wow. Yeah. So this is going to go on a door hanger for a grin. <gasps> and I wanted it big enough for him to see it. Mom, there's a ladybug in your hair. Oh, yeah, you guys got to see the candy I got for St. Nicholas. Um, okay, so ladybugs in Germany. Ladybugs and bird nests are lucky. Hey, ladybugs and seven spots are lucky. Those no, are not spots. in Germany. Here, pick this up. So, okay, ladybugs, are skeptical. this is um, a piece of chocolate wrapped with ladybug. And this guy... Ooh. Did you really just tear that up? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, so I got these at Plus Klingelmacht. I got Liebkuchen. I got Pfeffernus. I got all kinds of chocolates. Um, right? And then... I got a nice thing with this. It goes on your... Um, it goes on your light sitter and you're really silly. Oh, but anyway, I know what this is. so we have a ton of stuff. This is a nose picnic. It is not. Stop it. We're trying to finish this up. Oh, I know what it is. It's we a toothpick. We're trying to finish this up. There's something in my eye. Wait a minute. It's going to be a nice pickle. All right. So, we're working on Christmas. I am super excited. I haven't done Christmas this way in a long time um, because we've had a Grinch around. Mommy won't want me to have real size scissors, so I get kids' scissors. Anyway, so. We are going to do Christmas right this year, right? And it's start an with St. Nicholas. It's not. It's supposed to have candles. Would you stop it? Now I have trash. We're off of here because I just can't take it. Wait, anymore. look. The thingy going. has a Christmas. Yes, that's where they get all their German stuff. Oh. So, all right. Oh, I got a glue stick now. Let's glue oh, mommy to the table. Okay. I will talk to all of y'all. Mommy's going to be glued to the table. Quit. Right? Look, it's going out again. No, well, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, Bye. and sorry we'll for all you. our technical difficulties. Mommy's new program is different, to say the least. And RJ's different, too. But we already knew that, okay? Mm -hmm. And just an FYI, RJ is taking um, part in... Go get the dog. Is that the dog? That's dad, not the dog. <laughs> um, RJ is taking part in a winter gift exchange, so that video will be I going am. up as soon as you get your gift. I am, I am, I am. Yep. Well, we have ours ordered, and then it'll be mail out. I don't know if we're supposed to say who we're mailing to, so we're not going to say. Oh. We know they don't watch us, but we don't care. We're just not going to say. So we have, really cool, um, we have a really cool gift that we're sending them, so we're excited. Okay, goodbye. Spin. He, he's, I'm just so spin. He's out of here.